three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. Hopefully, everybody had a great Thanksgiving day. You guys had a lot of food and spent time with your families. That's what it's all about. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. I'm going to be adding this to my show more often. It's going to be about five minutes, five minute episodes, and it'll be rapid fire questions. Some of them asked, some of them were asked by the listeners. Some of them were, I uh, I went online and I grabbed them from there. And this episode is to get to know Joe. Why do I like? Why do I like it? Why do I don't like it? It's uh, I think that we can, you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And uh, we can make it fun, right? Shorter episodes. So first question is work or play? Work. So I'm all about work. I want to accomplish something. I want to accomplish a goal. I work hard to get somewhere. I work hard at work to pay my bills and to be able to have the ability to to do things, right? Pay my pay the roof, pay the house, my car, the, the, the car that takes me to work, to have a roof under my head. Uh, if you play a lot, you were all you're always going to be playing so you're never going to make any money you're going to be a, you're just basically going to be a clown you're going to be just playing all the time you're not going to be able to accomplish anything so sometimes we have to work hard play a little bit everybody can play i play but uh, you got to work hard so for me it's work next episode is money or hap or next episode what is the episode next question Money or happiness. So I'm going to say you can't have either without the other. Sorry. So that's just the way it is. You can be, you can't, you can't be happy if you live in the street and have no food to give your children or to go to work or you're living, constantly living in the street. How are you going to be happy? How? You can't. You have to have money. You have to have money in order for you to, to have stuff, in order for you to eat, in order for you to go to the doctor. You're going to be really unhappy if you're broke and you have nothing. That thing that they tell you, well, happiness, you know, families, you know, it's if we have our family, it doesn't matter if you, we don't have any money. That's bull crap. You need to have money. You need to be able to live somewhere. You need to be able to eat food. You need to be able to do stuff. What are you, you going to do without money? You can't be happy without money. Okay, and money does bring happiness. Why? Because you pay for your house. You can have Thanksgiving in your house. You pay for your car. I'm so happy. Hey, I'm going to work. Makes me happy. Right. There's a lot of things that can make you happy. Taking a trip with your family, uh, family reunion, all these things, you know, you do with your family together. It brings you happiness. You don't necessarily need money, a bunch of money to be happy, but you need money. You need money. If you have no currency, you have nothing. So I'm going to go with both. Sorry, can't pick one. The next question is uh, cats or dogs? Uh, I'm going to say dogs. Cats are not that affectionate. I'm not a cat lover. I don't like cats at all. I love dogs. Dogs are affectionate. They're just awesome, right? They're awesome animals. Cats. My dad had cats growing up and uh, we they were having my at my grandma's house and i just didn't like cats they're just very like insensitive they just only want to play when when they want to you can't tell them to come over they just kind of ignore you i don't like them so dogs for me dogs uh morning or evening is the next question i'm going to say on that i'm going to say morning i'm a morning person evening i feel like the day's over and it's like oh man time to relax and wind down and do it all over again so i'm gonna go with uh, morning i love the morning just wake up you have a lot of things to do you want to get them done you want to get stuff accomplished you can work a lot more and at, at night you get tired and you just don't want to do anything anymore so let's go for one more question here what do we got guys what do we got uh do you shower at night or in the morning that's a good one i shower in the morning if i come home from work and i'm disgusting and i smell funny of course i shower if i work out in the afternoon of course i shower right i usually like to shower in the morning just because i want to feel fresh and wake up and go to work smelling good smelling like fresh clean shower right or just soap yeah, i like that i just i just feel like 
it relaxes me. You wake up and you feel relaxed, and then you go and you you uh, you start your day. So it's just it's morning for me. I do shower a lot in the afternoons, just because you know if I'm working out or doing something and I'm start sweating or something, it's like I want to be clean all the time. So I uh, but I do prefer in the morning. All right, I think I have. Let's see. It's been five minutes already. It goes fast, man. These rapid fire stuff goes really fast. Um, the next question is, what would you like your show? What would you? What is the goal for the show? Okay, the goal for the show is for me to make it, right? For me to be a a good podcaster. For me to have a bunch of listeners and followers, and and for me to do this maybe full time if I can. There's a lot of people, for instance, on YouTube that go on there and they're like, oh, you know, if you're trying to, if you're getting into podcasting to be rich and famous. Or to you know to be to have a lot of money and this and that you know it's the wrong reason to get get into it. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Those dudes are haters. Their whole reason why you get into podcasting is because you want to do something with it. You just don't. What's the point? Might as well just record and then just keep it and just listen to yourself all day. We all have a purpose. We all have a goal, right? Especially when you're podcasting. You don't want to make money off of podcasting. You don't want to be rich. You don't want to make enough money to have a living where you don't have to go to work for somebody and just podcast and talk to your talk to your fans and your listeners and all that? Of course. That's just bullshit. You know what I mean? If I was to tell you that I got into podcasting because this was my long long life dream and I just want to talk to somebody. No, I got into it because I want to make money. I want to I want to have a huge podcast. I want to have great content. I want to make money out of it. That is the point. That's why you are marketing. That's why you're doing websites and and saying go to my YouTube and doing subscriptions and because you want to make money because it's expensive to have a podcast. It's, if you want to have a good podcast, you want to you want to you have to invest, right? It's an investment. You're not just going to invest to have nothing. You want to invest to make something out of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit and all those people that say, "Oh, podcasting," you know, if, you, if you're getting into it to be rich and famous, it's not a good idea. It's bullcrap. It's bull crap, tell you that. And I think we've gone way too far. So but there goes the rapid fire questions, right? You got me going now. But that's one of the things that, you know, I'm just gonna keep going. That's one of the things that I struggle with when I go online and I see these guys like how to start a podcast. And the first thing they say is, Well, you know, you you wanna start a podcast to be like Joe Rogan, it's probably never gonna happen. You don't know that. You don't know that it's, it's it's this is an art. It's something that you have to get better at it every day, every show, and move stuff around. How many times have you guys gone into my episodes and there's stuff in the background and there's the dogs over here and this is over here. Now I got Muhammad Ali behind me and I got a bunch of sound panels behind me and a light and this and that. You're trying to make your show look nice. The the video is different on this. It's gonna be different on this. Why? Because I can't seem to get it perfect on how I want it. It looks good on the phone, but as soon as you make it larger, like on an iPad or anything like that, it looks blurry. So it's like it's not like I went to school for this. I'm learning. But I'm putting all the effort. Why? Because yeah, I want to have a big podcast. Yeah, maybe one day I do want to be famous. That's the point. That's the point of this. I want to get my word out and also be famous, have followers, have people that want to follow me. It's the point of that. You know what I mean? If not, I wouldn't be getting into this. I would be getting into something else. But this is what this is about. It's about you hopefully making money out of it. If you go into it saying, well, I don't know, I'm just into it just to talk. Just I'm just going to talk. I don't really care about making any money or really doing anything. I just want to have a podcast. Then you're getting into it for the wrong reason. You're... You, 90% of podcasters out there, let me tell you one thing. If you were to come talk to us and tell us, hey, I'll give you a million dollars to podcast. Who the hell is going to turn down a million dollars to not podcast? I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm just doing this just because I like to just like I just like to talk. And it's just a side thing. You would quit your job and do podcasting because this is what it's all, it's all about, right? This is what it's about. It's about making money. It's about spreading the word. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that, guys. Thank you for joining me. Rapid fire questions here at Bold Talk by Joe. Peace.